Proclaiming a particular long gun as the best sniper rifle is a surefire way to make 20 people angry for every one person who nods in agreement. That's one reason for this lengthy list. The other is that the definition of a sniper rifle is fluid. Here's my take. The best sniper rifle is the one that is most capable of fulfilling the mission that whoever is carrying it is tasked with. Given that we live in a complex, uncertain, and dangerous world, those missions can take on staggering variety. The environments can range from snow-covered mountains to vine-choked jungle to crowded cities to searing desert. The operator might be dealing with a hostage situation, engaged in overwatch for an assault team, targeting enemy material, or simply on patrol with his squad when contact is made. We have listed the top 7 sniper rifles and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. Number 7. Daniel Defense Delta 5 Pro 6.5 Creedmoor Rifle 24-inch The Daniel Defense Delta 5 Pro 6.5 Creedmoor Rifle 24-inch has custom enhancements that you will not find in your average long gun. It features an interchangeable 24-inch proprietary steel blend barrier with a Cerakote finish and an Area 419 Hellfire muzzle brake. The Area 419 Hellfire muzzle brake provides reduced recoil and muzzle rise, allowing you to re-engage your target quickly. It also comes with an adjustable Timney Elite Hunter single-stage trigger, an M-Lock handguard, an AR-15 grip attachment, and an ergonomic thumb rest. The synthetic stock also has an adjustable length of pull, butt pad height, and cheek riser for a fantastic fit. Pair all that with an included 10-round PMAG, and you get an excellent package. A downside to the Delta 5 Pro is its price, but every inch of it is well worth the price tag. If you want a feature-rich sniper rifle perfect for newcomers or professionals, the Daniel Defense Delta 5 Pro 6.5 Creedmoor Rifle 24-inch is an excellent choice. Number 6. SCAR 20S FN's SCAR series of rifles have seen numerous configurations and designs to make the platform an all-in-one choice for special operations personnel. The SCAR 20S is a civilian variant of what's now designated the MK20 SSR. The MK20 SSR, or Sniper Support Weapon, is a semi-auto, short-stroke gas piston rifle that utilizes America's favorite 30 caliber fighting round the 7.62 NATO. For civilian shooters, the 6.5 Creedmoor is also an option. FN's SCAR series were plenty accurate, but they took it a step further with the SSR and ensured it provided top flight accuracy for a semi-auto rifle. The 20S series SCAR offers a full-length monolithic upper receiver that allows snipers to mount a wide variety of optics. This includes day and night optics, laser aiming devices, and more. The 20S uses a 20-inch barrel that makes good use of the 7.6 NATO round. FN lengthened the receiver to better support the barrel and ensure snipers could accessorize the weapon as necessary. The stock is fixed, but highly adjustable in the length of the pull and cheek weld department. The MK20 SSR doesn't provide the longest range capabilities, but does offer accurate, rapid-fire capabilities for close to moderate range precision. Luckily. FN released a civilian variant of the weapon that matches the military's model. Number 5. Ruger Precision 6.5 Creedmoor 24-inch M-Lock Bolt Action Rifle The Ruger Precision 6.5 Creedmoor 24-inch M-Lock Bolt Action Rifle offers premium features that will enhance your accuracy and precision downrange. This rifle is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, making it perfect for taking down any target, including elk, boars, and deer. It also features several features to provide you with consistent shooting downrange, including a 24-inch cold hammer forged chrome molly steel barrel, a hybrid muzzle brake, and a Ruger Marksman adjustable trigger. Its hybrid muzzle provides enhanced recoil mitigation and reduced noise. The Ruger Marksman adjustable trigger provides you with a customizable trigger pull between 2.25 and 5 pounds for smooth pulls and improved control. Another prominent feature is the Ruger Precision MSR stock with an assault rifle style grip, an adjustable length of pull, and an adjustable cheek comb to get a customized fit for any shooter. 
It also includes a 15-inch M-Lock handguard and a Picatinny rail up top for your favorite accessories and optics for the perfect loadout. If you are looking for a premium sniper rifle that can easily take down your target at any range, the Ruger Precision 6.5 Creedmoor 24-inch M-Lock bolt-action rifle is an excellent choice. Number 4. Macmillan TAC-50 How could you make a list of the world's best sniper rifles without including the rifle used to make the longest kill shot in history? Canadian commandos with the elite JTF-2 utilized the Macmillan TAC-50 to kill a member of ISIS at 3,540 meters, which equates to 2.2 miles in freedom units. JTF-2 isn't the only elite force using the TAC-50. Snipers with the SEAL teams utilize the TAC-50 as the MK-15. The TAC-50 uses a bolt design, and it's considered a precision anti-material rifle. The finely tuned bolt-action design squeezes the most accuracy possible out of a round design for machine guns. It's exceptionally accurate and does typically outperform the Barrett M82 in that department. Weight-wise, it's still a beast at 26 pounds, but does feature a long 29-inch barrel. That barrel is a match-grade design that's made by renowned barrel company, Lea, to precise standards. The barrel features fluting to decrease weight and improve cooling capabilities. In the end, we have a familiar booking and massive muzzle brake that certainly cuts down the recoil. The TAC-50 comes with a fiberglass stock and a folding bipod. The stock can be adjusted for length and even removed for transport purposes. It's a mighty rifle that will help you send several hundred grains of lead downrange in a very accurate manner. Number 3. Remington 700 Tactical The Remington 700 came to be in 1962, and the initial design was for a sporting rifle. While the rifle started life as a hunting rifle, the accuracy of the rifle quickly got the eye of numerous burgeoning sniper rifle programs. The Remington 700 went on to become the M24, the M40, the M2010, and the MK13 sniper rifle systems. I'm certainly missing some overseas variants of the Remington 700 Tactical and likely missing some of the domestic sniper rifle variants. The Remington 700 series are bolt-action rifles designed with the idea of producing a rifle that had tight bore and chamber tolerances and a very fast lock time. At the same time, the rifle needed to be capable of being easily mass-produced. Thus, the Remington 700 was born. The Remington 700 provided snipers with a lightweight but extremely accurate rifle. Accuracy on top of simplicity and capability became the strength of the Remington 700, and both short and long action models have seen military service. The Marine Corps uses the M40A7 in 7.6 NATO, as well as the MK13 Mod 7 in 300 Winchester Magnum. The Army labeled their Remington 700 the M24 which evolved from a simple 7.62 NATO bolt gun to the chassis-enhanced M2010 sniper rifle in 300 Winchester Magnum. Remington 700 rifles have been used by numerous police forces, including the LAPD and NYPD SWAT teams. While the Remington 700 might be showing its age, the weapon perseveres and adapts as necessary for the next mission set. Number 2. Accuracy International Arctic Warfare Magnum the Arctic Warfare Magnum, or AWM, is a British sniper rifle. It is a product of Accuracy International Company. It is a more powerful version of the Arctic Warfare sniper rifle, designed to use larger and more powerful Magnum-type cartridges. The word Magnum is the designation denoting the Magnum chambering. There are two main versions of this weapon, chambered for 300 Winchester Magnum and 338 Lapua Magnum ammunition. This weapon was adopted in 1996. The version chambered for 300 Winchester Magnum is in service with the Czech Republic, Germany, locally designated as the G22, and some other countries. Another version, chambered for 338 Lapua Magnum, was adopted by at least 14 countries, including Ireland, Israel, Italy, Malaysia, Netherlands, Norway, South Korea, and the United Kingdom. This sniper rifle saw action during wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It is a bolt-action sniper rifle. Generally, the Arctic Warfare Magnum is similar to the original Arctic Warfare sniper rifle, but has a longer bolt to accommodate the larger and more powerful Magnum-type ammunition. This weapon has a stainless steel 660mm 26-inch barrel. It is fed from detachable 5-round capacity magazines. 
the 300 Winchester Magnum 7.62 by 67 millimeters cartridge was originally designed as a hunting ammunition. It has a flatter trajectory and significantly increased muzzle velocity, wind resistance and supersonic range than the standard NATO 308 Winchester 7.62 by 51 millimeter cartridge. As a result, it has significantly longer effective range. The Arctic Warfare Magnum Rifle chambered for this ammunition has an effective range of 1100 meters. Another version, chambered for the 338 Lapua Magnum, is much more powerful. This cartridge was specifically designed for military snipers as long-range sniping ammunition. Its effective range is comparable with that of the 50 BMG 12.7 by 99 millimeter cartridges. Though the 338 Lapua Magnum develops significantly less kinetic energy and penetration, it outperforms the 300 Winchester Magnum version. The Arctic Warfare Magnum rifle, chambered for this ammunition, has an effective range of 1500 to 1700 meters. In some cases, the 338 Lapua Magnum round can reportedly penetrate armored glass. This weapon is one of the best sniper rifles in the world. In fact, in 2009, the second longest sniper kill in history was made with the L11 5A3 rifle, British version of the Arctic Warfare Magnum in Afghanistan. A British Army sniper, Craig Harrison, killed two Taliban fighters at a range of 2,475 meters. At the time, it was the longest sniper kill ever made. This sniper rifle has a solid buttstock, though there is a version with a folding buttstock stock. It is designated as the Arctic Warfare Magnum Folding, or AWMF. This weapon is more comfortable to carry in a backpack. Number 1. Barrett MRAD The Barrett MRAD struck gold with both the United States Army and Marine Corps. The MRAD, or Multi-Role Adaptive Design, originally came to be due to the SOCOM Precision Sniper Rifle Program. Barrett's has always been up for producing something innovative, capable, and accurate and sniper rifles are their bread and butter. The MRAD's got a lot of claims to fame, but the main feature that drew the gun so much attention is the ability to easily swap calibers. Users can swap calibers by removing two Torx screws, changing the bolt face, and possibly a magazine change. Each barrel has a factory head-spaced bolt face that covers a major problem with quick caliber conversions. For the Marine Corps and Army, the ability to swap between 338 Lapua Magnum and 300 Winchester Magnum and the classic 7.62 NATO makes the MRAD missionally and logistically adaptable. Snipers will be armed with a single rifle that could be used in a multitude of missions around the world. The MRAD uses a bolt-action design paired with an extremely modern chassis system. This accommodates a wide variety of optics, including thermal and night vision clip-ons that sit in front of your traditional rifle optic. Users can outfit an MRAD with every Users can outfit an MRAD with every possible gizmo and gadget to make it a modern tactical sniper rifle. From high-powered IR lasers to simple bipods, the MRAD can accept it all. On the opposite side, the user-adjustable stock allows for maximum comfort and compatibility with various shooter sizes. An adjustable cheek rest allows the user to choose between different height mounts and different optic styles. So that wraps up our list of the best sniper rifles. Hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which sniper rifle you are going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.